any parent what they would do for their child, and most would say they'd go to the ends of the earth for them. I met one mom who's actually moving the earth to help her adult daughter find freedom and independence. In tonight's MVP, I'll show you how the family from Fulton is building a new option for adults with disabilities. And these are the floor plans for like charting the stars and also on this side so you're looking at a mom charting a safe course for her child so you can pace inside but instead of laying out the skies Here it is these plans lay out an independent future and then the duplexes will be around the circle and the camera. Nancy Hansen knew she wanted a different path for her 20 year old daughter Shelby I don't think that the the current options are really good for Shelby and just wanted to find something that would be the best that we could find for her. These are all of my medals. Shelby is a decorated athlete. Silver for second place. Who loves her friends. And we start bowling practice next week yes. with all my friends. She graduated high school this spring and is ready for the next step in life. I don't want to live with mom forever and I'm excited to be on my own. She could live in a group home. It's really kind of the only option, or she could stay here with us. So Nancy decided to shoot for the stars. As a special needs mom, we just do whatever we need to for our kids, and this is what my kid needs. Thankfully, someone landed there before her. Uh, Nancy had found us online. Um, I think she was up one night trying to figure out what was going to happen for Shelby. Ann Wilkinson founded a one-of-a-kind development in a town outside of Portland, Oregon. Like Nancy, she was motivated to find a safe space for her adult son, Wally. He couldn't have a roommate. This has really worked for him and for many friends. And She named it We Built. It's building community around a group of individuals who need a community to be built around them and give them a different opportunity. The model provides an independent housing option for adults experiencing disabilities like autism. Each unit is customized to the individual and staff live on site. It really has turned out to be so much better than I thought it would be. It's different because there's no private company ownership. Instead, this is owned by the people who live there. The community runs itself after that. It's, it's completely independent and it no longer needs to do fundraising. It's changing lives out west. Anne's wait list sits at over 300 people. We searched for 20 years to find that place where she could feel like she belonged and that was right for her. And so this has been a godsend and an answer to prayer. Nancy hopes it does the same thing here. It's going to be a great place to live. The We Built development in Fulton is just the second one like it in the country. First four units that we're going to build are along the back wall. A handful of families have invested so far, each putting in $125,000 toward a unit. They broke ground in July. Why not Fulton? Why not build it where, where we can just make it great? This mob's mission felt nearly impossible at times. There's a lot to it. But love is a powerful force. That I love her and she's amazing. And like any mom and daughter, that love goes to the moon and back. Knowing that Shelby has a home, the peace of mind that she's okay is huge. Well, Nancy hopes Shelby can move in by Christmas. We Built Fulton will continue building duplexes as families invest in the property. They're starting with four units and hope to build 22. Pretty cool.